Welcome back to 3 Plus U. Heart disease, that is something that, oh, it concerns all of us, and I'll bet everybody out there has a family member, at least if not yourself, that is dealing with it. There is something called mitral regurgitation uh, that's impacting a lot of people, and you may not even know it, but you may be experiencing symptoms. Here to talk more about that is uh, Dr. Alan Ashley. Uh, there's a new procedure at CHI Memorial. Dr. Ashley is a cardiologist with this cardiologist with the Chattanooga Heart Institute. And let's talk about, first of all, what that is. It's called mitral regurgitation. Yes, first of all, thank you for having me this morning. Absolutely. Um, mitral regurgitation, what is it? It is a backward flow or a leakage across the mitral valve. And what that means is that as the heart pump functioner has it squeezes and contracts, the mitral valve typically closes to prevent blood from leaking backwards so that it can be ejected normally and efficiently across the aortic valve sure. to the rest of the body. And if the mitral valve leaks, then the heart pump loses some of that efficiency and that can lead to people feeling poorly. Now, is this something that is, uh, is it genetic? Are people born with it? it? Are there dietary things or behavioral things that we can do that would cause it? Yeah, great question. There are actually several different reasons why people can have mitral regurgitation. The most common one is malfunction of the valve because of prior heart damage, say a prior heart attack. Mm. That's one very common reason. It will tether the valve and cause it to malfunction and allow it to leak. Other uh, reasons that are maybe less common, but we see frequently are enlarged hearts that can cause the valve not to close properly. And then in some people, there are actually genetic predispositions to something called degenerative changes over time. So 100,000 heartbeats a day is what we all average. And as you accumulate birthdays, if you have the genetic predisposition, that valve tissue can thicken and elongate over time. It no longer closes normally, and then it begins to billow backward so that it no longer closes properly. And when that happens, it allows the valve to leak. And I'm assuming that a valve leaking uh, is not a good thing, but is it a, a life-threatening thing? Uh, is it, is it a, a, a condition that can be worse in some cases than in others? Absolutely. So the valve, typically when we see a valve leakage, what typically happens is people may see their doctor and say that they feel poorly. What symptoms do people have? They may feel shortness of breath when they exert themselves. They may feel just fatigue and inability to complete tasks that they feel like they should. Some and, people... and let me interject there, because I hear that a lot with yes. any heart issue. That it always seems like one of the symptoms is shortness of breath, easily fatigued. There are a lot of people that, I, mean, it, it, I would imagine it's hard to distinguish between, man, I just need to work out. I need, and, and they're kind of not understanding that, well, it's more than just not working out. You've got a heart thing going on. Is there a way to determine exactly what's going on there? When we say shortness of breath or fatiguing easily, uh, distinguish that between somebody that just maybe is out of shape and needs to start getting back to the gym. Sure. Well, the best way to figure that out is to see your doctor and talk about your symptoms, get a physical exam. And then as your doctor is listening to your heart, if they hear a murmur or they can hear the blood flow of the leaky valve, then that typically will prompt them to order an ultrasound of the heart called an echocardiogram. And that's where that diagnosis would be made of having a significant leakage. Um, we're going to get to a treatment that you brought, uh, mechanical treatment, but are there uh, chemical treatments, any drugs that people can take to hopefully alleviate that without surgery? Yeah, the treatments for mitral regurgitation medically are limited because if you have a failing mitral valve, for whatever reason, that's a mechanical problem. Something's causing the valve to malfunction. And that typically requires a mechanical fix if it's leaking to a severe degree or making you feel poorly. So the medications that we would use would be medications to keep the blood pressure low. And if you're accumulating fluid, making you feel winded, sometimes diuretics to help that. But those are temporizing. Now, uh, we talked about uh, some of the fixes. I'm, I'm guessing if somebody had this, even if it could be diagnosed 20, 30 years ago, which maybe it was even tough to diagnose it back then, uh, I'm guessing the solution was cracking the chest open and doing all kinds of stuff that just is unpleasant, right? Uh, yes, we call that a median sternotomy. We don't like to crack anything. But, okay, okay, uh, a but median yes. sternotomy. But yes, uh, a surgical incision in the <laughs> breastbone right. um, to expose the heart where a surgeon could repair the valve or replace it. Depending on why the valve leaks, we always prefer a repair of the valve. We like to leave as much of the valve alone as possible. But if it's not repairable, it has to be replaced. And then there are other techniques other than a surgical sternotomy, including 
minimally invasive and robotic repairs in the appropriately selected patients. And that's what we're talking about with the, this, little, uh, this little gadget. It, it looks so simple, it's light, it honestly feels like something you could pick up for about three fifty at a convenience store, uh, but this is a highly technical deal that it, uh, that is helping a lot of people. Tell me about this solution. It is. Th what you're holding is the mitral clip. Uh, that is a revolutionary treatment um, that so we are now. The clip on that's the end, correct. Right? That is not the actual delivery system. The actual delivery system is quite large and cumbersome. But as a representation, that is an actual clip. It's a surgical steel. Uh, clip with several components. It's got this polyester cover and what we do with this is we offer people treatments for that type of leaky valve called prolapse that I mentioned earlier where they have degenerative changes over time in people who wouldn't qualify for any other treatments. So it's hope uh, to help people feel better. Uh, and, th and this is inserted into the leg up through a artery or a vein? Correct. It involves a venous puncture in the groin in the femoral vein we take that device and deliver it through the delivery system up to the right side of the heart. We puncture what's called the septum and cross the heart, deliver this device across the mitral valve, where we then pull it back into position, grab the leaflet tissue that's diseased, and then pull this clip together, deploy it, and now the tissue is there together, preventing the leakage. That is amazing to me. I, I know it's something that you see every day, and it sounds really complicated, and it is, but it's also, uh, that method of getting to the heart, it's done every day, and that's pretty much the way to do it now, right? Uh, for these patients who have no other options, yes, yeah. that's the way that we would do this. We always want to do the least invasive fix possible. Um, this is something that we can offer to people, and instead of a surgical procedure, this is one where we have people who were too high risk for any surgical procedure who were able to get up and walk out of the hospital often the next day. Well, doctor, I thank you for coming in. This is a very fascinating. And again, it's called uh, mitral regurgitation. If uh, you think this may be something that is impacting you, of course, you can get uh, more information. Let me give you uh, Dr. Ashley's uh, information. It's the Heart Valve Clinic at CHI Memorial. 423-495-4327 is the number. And the, uh, you can also send them an email at valve at memorial.org. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank for you for having me. My pleasure. Absolutely. We're back. More 3 Plus You right after this. Set, set, set.